Today I want to look at two third-party transformers. Because a few days ago I just got this one. Um, that is Toy World Brainwave. And the other is Fans Project Smart Robin. Both of these are obviously homages of the same figure. That being uh, Brainstorm, I think. I don't know, I never had it as a kid. Some G1 figure, who cares. Um, where to start? Uh, comparisons, obvious ones. The Toy World one is much, much larger. Here's figure of Darth Vader as a little size comparison. Brainwave, Brainstorm. This one, Smart Robin. It's just a little bit taller than Vader. Um, he's a decent size, slightly larger than deluxe size. Of course, I didn't. I didn't think to grab a transformer to compare it to. Um, he's a slightly large Voyager. He's a slightly, slightly large deluxe. Um, you can see there's clear differences in their aesthetics. Um, clearly, I don't have a lot. <laughs> Somebody, I should have have somebody script these for me. Let's look at uh, Smart Robin because this is the one I've had the longest. Bot mode is very, very articulated. He's got lots of joints over here for elbowing. Um, got a bicep swivel type thing. There is no wrist articulation unless you count this transformation joint where you can kind of do that with his arm, but that looks painful. lighten it up a little bit here. Um, shoulder joint, depending on how you have this thing, it kind of collides with his torso right there. <clears throat> He's got a waist swivel, um, thigh cuts, good good hip range, uh, mostly good hip range. Um, good knee, it's a transformation joint that tucks all the way in so it can go quite a ways back. It's got an, an ankle, a toe joint, an ankle thing. No, no swivel unless you count the toe. Um, pretty good articulation. Anyway, um, the head does turn and has a. That's really just because it's a headmaster. How that plugs in, it ever so slightly can. Wow, I don't know what I'm even doing with it. There we go. Well, now it's all out of whack. Oh well. Um, anyway, the robot mode is really good. It's very poseable. Some of these joints are super snug, especially these knees. Um, but there are no loose joints. So you can put him in a pose and he will hold it. Let's see if we can get him to do a one-legged kick. Um, if I wanted to fiddle around with that more, he would stay there. I don't. Um, anyway, no complaints about his posability. It's pretty good. Um, very sharp edges, really blocky, but I guess not blocky the same way he is. More lots of small, sharp corners, edges. All the edges are, I mean, obviously they're slightly rounded. But, you know, he just feels, he feels more detailed than uh, Brainwave, but in a way that now looks kind of busy to me. I'm almost, not quite sloppy, but just a little too detailed. I don't know. When I first got this, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago, however long he's been out, I really, really liked the way he looks. I do like fan project stuff. Um, but when I got this one a few days ago, just he looks slightly more clean, a little more streamlined in a way that I really find enjoyable. But this is a very slim um, fit robot mode that is really good. I don't like the head. Let's take a zoom. Oh, look, you can see Brainwave in the background. Let's raise the camera up. One of these is better than the other, and I'll give you a hint. It's not this one. I do seem to recall that being a complaint people had when the figure was first announced and released. I'm sure some other third-party company or customizer has made... I know there were talks about it. I didn't care enough to buy one, but anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure people were talking about making faceplates for him. Um, he has two weapons, which you 
can't tell that this is totally going to be a gun on the a wing gun on the jet mode, right? Um, I just to compare it quick to Brainwave's gun. One of these is better than the other, and it does happen to be Smart Robins. Now he holds them well. You can also stash them on his backpack, which is actually the nose of the jet. And hey, that's where they go in jet mode. And that's that guy. Now, Brainwave, I've been trying to get this guy for a while. One of the problems with Toy World stuff is sometimes they're a little bit more expensive than they should be. And the retail on this guy was $100, I believe. And this one was like 60 maybe 70 I've been waiting for this guy to go on clearance. He is on clearance at Big Bad Toy Store for $70. I thought that was still a little bit steep. So I've just been stocking it on eBay, and I finally got one for $50, including shipping. And I'm happy with that price. I like the big, bulky beefiness of this robot. I like, like I said, he's just, it's, it's obviously less detailed, but in a way that just feels a little bit cleaner to me. The more I look at the two of them, I, I like the similarities. They have the same green torso. They have the beige or grayish here on the hips, but in a different way. I like seeing the similarities and the differences. It, they both have the little red bits there, but different. Um, before I go into posability, this is a problem. This dude has a hell of a backpack. They're cool wings, but they do they do make him uh, a bit back heavy, and it's a little bit of a chore sometimes to to position them or his legs so that he's not trying to fall backwards. All right, let's talk posability. He's got wrist swivels, which Smart Robin didn't. This one is loose in just in that area. Once you get past that, it snugs up. But right there, where you want it, it's a little bit loose. That's interesting. Um, he also has a transformation joint, so his hands rotate down. That's less useful than rotating up. There you go. You can rotate him up if you do that. <clears throat> Elbows, biceps. The shoulders move here and there, and here we're going to get to one of my major complaints with this figure. This little gray bit. Can you see in there? There's a tab right there. There's a slot for said tab, and you can push. It, it kind of goes in and out. I don't know if you can see that, but it does go in and out a bit and clip on. But it doesn't stay. As soon as you start wiggling the shoulder, it kind of just works its way off, and then you're rotating there, that. Um, especially if you're trying to uh, move the arms out. If, um, it just, just pops right off. Now it's which uh, no. It's annoying. It's not the other not big a deal. But that is the annoying thing. The annoying thing is the things. Most the place they do really almost kind of click in. Just nice, but not rough. And it's way not snug them. So, anyways, uh, his arms go to the side a lot. Shoulder one. Smart Robin about to the, and with easier information joints and go this trans a bit. They can use go up a little. And I don't like that part of it. There we go. But again, actually snake that place a little. That one perhaps in better. Well, arms are pretty comparable except for the outward mode of the shoulders. Uh, so, um, waist are below as well. Uh, slightly better. This is the outward portion of the hips. Um, there is no thigh swivel, but the knees do swivel, so I guess that's about the same. He's got good heavy ratcheting forward and back. Um, whereas this one is just a, a friction ball joint, but it's nice and snug, so that's good. Um, D knees about 50%, 50. That is actually a 90 degree angle is what we call those. His feet are interesting. They've got an inward um, tilt, so you can keep him flat on the ground in a wide-legged pose. That's cool. Um, heel spur is really snug, so it can go up and down to help with 
posing and this one also goes up and down. Those are both kind of transformation joints, but they are also useful as articulation. So hooray. So I'd actually say posability is about the same, but I favor this one ever so slightly. But it has the hindrance of this backpack. <clears throat> um, you can adjust these in or out. Uh, now, hmm, that's something I hadn't tried. Putting them all the way straight, even though it pulls them farther back from the figure more. I wonder if that stabilizes it. Oh, it does. That does help. Rather than having the wings tilted backwards, or pointing backwards more, you actually move them slightly farther out from the body, but then you can bring them closer to the center of gravity. That helps. <clears throat> um, you can also pop them up like so. So he has, I don't know, flying wings. And they're articulated there. That makes them back heavy again. But I don't know, I guess I've seen a couple of pictures where people have them like that and it looks kind of cool. But they, they just don't stay. There we go. That is kind of cool. So he has the same or similar gun things that Smart Robin has. He can hold them here in his hands, you know, like where you normally hold guns. And unless I'm missing something, there's not really any other place to store them if you're not going to use them. Oh, I forgot to talk about uh, neck joint. This joint does turn. It is very heavy ratcheting, and you always munge up the head transformation and kind of pop it out. It doesn't. It tries to clip in, but it, I get the feeling that the tolerance is just a hair short somewhere, so it is still always on the verge of popping out. Um, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I, just, I can't maybe find where you can smash these guns. Man, you're supposed to do that far back here. But then I'm down really far. Okay, I guess you can do that. Maybe? I don't know. It's kind of dopey. That work. I guess for sex. Now, why would you want to holster his guns? Well, this guy has hidden backup weapons right here. This thing doesn't even look like it's supposed to come out, but it does, and it's this cool bladey thing. Um, it is a little strange the, the angle that the blade ends up when you, you know, put it in his hand, because he's got a raise it up a bit. I, I just I know that's supposed to plug in and so I wish it would stay more. I know, it's not like it's hindering the articulation. It's probably well, it's not hindering it. But because I know it's wrong it bothers me. <laughs> um anyway, or you can uh, undersling this. That works too. Oh hey look, he lost his head. So I said, just it does feel like it clicks, but it also feels like it just isn't quite engaging all the way. And oh, hey, look, there's two of them. So now he can go all melee brawler on you. <clears throat> Elucidating all these points and the fact that the wings are are a bit of a complaint and the way I'm complaining about this that really is not important but kind of annoys me. It does seem like Smart Robin should be the more favorite because it is... It, I didn't really have anything to complain about it. But I just... This guy feels more fun to me, more cooler, more... like he has more character. And I love this. Um, he's got a... Does it open? Maybe it's not a... F oh, it's... Just, sort of a fake canopy and sort of not because it does open but because that's all shiny silver paint it just it looks really cool to me there's real canopies back there so now let's uh, what talk about the headmaster parts really quick pop these are headmasters which means their head comes off 
and it's a little dude that transforms, sort of. This one actually is a little bit more complex because you do this thing with the face. So he doesn't look like he has a giant robot face on his back quite as much. Yeah, and you've got this tiny little dude. He has a uh, minimal articulation. Pretty much what you just saw right there. He's super tiny. His does just unfold and just spin his legs around. And he's got outward motion on his arms. So these joints aren't quite as snug because they're just little clips over balls, but then they've got more range of motion, different angles they can move at. But hey, there's a giant head sticking on his back. That kind of... I don't know. I didn't buy these for their head mastery gimmick. So this part is actually really unimportant to me. But they do do that. Zoom in really quick. Focus. There we go. Come on, focus. There we go, it focused. Okay, enough of that. Now, we shall endeavor to transform them. All right, before I uh, transform them, let's do a quick compare them with a couple other similar robots. I've got, uh, this is not code, this is virus. It was a repaint of code. Um, by Fans Project, let's pull you out of the way. You can see they're uh, similar in aesthetics. Here's a steel core with a... Uh, hammers from some other guy. Anyway, you can see that he goes with um, the fans project look, a stack of sharp edges and lots and lots of detail. So that's cool. Let's get uh, the Toy World. Alright, um, this is Toy World's, uh, shoot, what is his name? Oh, this is this is Hard Bone, um, who's also from their Headmaster remakes or homages, whatever. Headmaster subline. And you can see they're very similar in size, similar in style and appearance. Just um, I think they look really good together. They look like they're related. I also collect the Toy World um, Not Throttle Bots. Um, but I don't have any of them here with me. I took them to work. They probably look like they fit together well. Um, so yeah, they d display well together, at least in, in robot mode. Um, both of these figures, let's throw a Smart Robin back in here, have have good uh, good transformations with clever bits and and neat engineering. Um, but when I had not played with this figure for months and months and months, and I tried to transform it into its alt mode, it took a long time. A lot of fiddling, messing around with, trying to figure out how to do it. Um, whereas this guy, I was able to figure it out without hardly any trouble. And he does have some clever bits to it, but it wasn't so complex, so overly engineered, so clever that I couldn't figure it out without a lot of uh, messing around. There's a tab there and a slot there and that just clicks it into place. Um, we do need to pop that off. It's entirely possible I'm not going to remember how to do this on camera and I'm going to make a fool of myself. I probably won't go into all of his transforming um, because it is complicated and I'm already not remembering what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, okay, see? That's neat. Um, not sure everything is right here, but... Does something like this, maybe? Okay, so clearly I shouldn't be trying to transform this thing on camera because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not going to remember the bits that I thought were super clever. Although I think something about this leg. Maybe just that, the way it breaks open to, to form the back. 
of the figure of the vehicle mode. So, what I do remember that's clever about this guy um, is the feet. You uh, rotate this part out, and then you unfold it. And hey, look, that's the wing. You fold that foot down, and that's how the wing goes, where the wing comes from. And then you do some sort of spinning around and witchery here. I'm going to have it backwards. I know this because... You have to do this part first. Pop open the chest, and this is neat the way the the torso unfolds. Come on, unfold. All right. So if I've got the arms moved out of the way, so this opens enough. Um, the torso unfolds. Come on. There we go. See how it does that? Just ching. Unfolds into. A very long nose fuselage and then you spin this around close the canopy and that helps lock it in place so then you swivel this around <clears throat> so now this tab goes into that little thing um, just move the arm out of the way and again just one all right, okay one more thing that um, helps hold things in place assuming I have them in the right spot and then this opens something is wrong maybe just the arms are in the way so this opens up there's a slot in there that that little peg goes on to come on get out of the way So you want to fold all that up. What is wrong here? Am I doing something wrong with this foot or leg? I don't think so. Um, anyway, so if you can get everything lined up right, and that peg goes in there, and this tab goes in there, and then this tab goes in here, and it all works to hold everything in the right spot. There we go just everything fell into place when I do it right and then you compress this pop open the fist and plug it right in that hole there and you've got yourself a little a little jet let's see if I can do it on the other side without too much futzing about the first time Oops, better pull that out first And even that has a little peg that just helps it snap into place to hold in place well. There we go, that worked a lot better. Except I forgot to have that peg out. That cover open. There we go. And then once everything's in place, got a nice solid little jet thing. Um, and you plug the other gun in there. And when I first got this, I remember thinking this thing was really super swell looking and amazing. And the transformation is neat. It's clever. It just Some of that stuff took a while to work out when I hadn't done it for half, half a year or more. Hell, it may have been almost two years. But it looks cool. And it, it pegs together really solidly. It's, it's going to keep its shape can pop open this thing, which is called a canopy, and then if I had this guy in robot mode, you can cram him in there to fly his little jet thing. I'm pretty sure it fits in there somehow. I notice there might be a little clever trick to it, because just because. But I'm pretty sure it goes in there. I've had it in there before. There's even a little cutout there to go around the back of 
There we go. And if I have it in right, it even... I don't have them quite in right because it's not quite locking into place. Who cares? I'm going to put it back in robot mode when I put it back on my shelf. Come on, get out. So there's that. It's got a little fold down landing gear there and two right there. And that's Smart Robin. <clears throat> now, this guy, I think I know what I'm doing. Do you peg the legs together? I'm not sure what to do with those, so we'll just leave those for now. Um, these shoulder things that cause me trouble fold up and they peg together. Um, and I'm pretty sure they go just this direction. They slide in somehow. Come on. This one doesn't feel like it wants to slide. But there is a peg there and a slot there, so I'm assuming... When I looked at it earlier, I assumed they went together. <clears throat> the wing bits fold down. Maybe I'm doing this backwards? I don't think so. You know, maybe I should have looked at a picture of this before I tried to do it on camera, because clearly I don't know what I am doing. Alright, so I'm just being lame here. It is supposed to go where I think it's supposed to go. I'm just not getting it in right. Maybe it helps to plug those in first. You rotate the forearms so that they plug in together. And then once it does that, it's a little easier. This just They're supposed to slide in together and it just doesn't want to move in. There we go. It's closer. I get too close to the camera, you can't see it anyway. These little things unfold to cover up that joint, which I think is neat. Um, and I know they will stay in place if only I can get these things plugging in the way they're supposed to be. So that they don't move. Where's a strong person when you need one? Okay, so it's not quite plugging in together, right? I know it does. It should. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, these something's not right here. Well, I just looked at the directions. Why isn't this making sense to me? I fail at transformers. Unless I'm reading these stupid things wrong. It just goes just like that. Um... So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm doing something wrong. It's not super impressive, is it? Oh, okay, that's what it is. That's how they get secured. The wing assembly plugs into it like there. That's how it holds it in place. So I'm just a moron. Still feel like something is missing, but it's got um, unfoldable landing gear to right here. And then it... This ship has a undeniable, uncanny resemblance to something from another property. Um, it becomes even more apparent when you do this. My only problem with this jet mode, my main problem with this jet mode, because it is a little... Anyway, I, I, when there are moving parts like this, parts that are supposed to have multiple positions, I want there to be obvious stops in it, you know, detents in here so it, they want to stay in the set locations or in the most symmetrical locations, because I think that's about where they should be, but I don't know that I can get them so that they're perfectly 
even parallel with each other. And so that annoys me, because all the way open where they you know, can't move anymore, that, I guess that works, but it just looks weird, and also it can't sustain its weight like that. So if I were to display it in this mode, I would just, I just wish there was a way to position those, have them lock into place so that they're perfectly parallel or, you know, anyway, symmetrical is the word I was actually looking for there. And then you plug in these here. So he's got the guns on the front just like Smart Robin. Why? There we go. Just... Um... Yeah, I liked this a lot more when I got it a few days ago. Now it looks kind of clunky and kind of doofy. This back section is too big and too thick for these short stubby wings, so the proportions look off. It looks cool from these angles. It looks all right from the side. It just looks dumb from on top. It actually looks better on camera than the way I'm looking at it in real life. So maybe it's just me. I don't know. So when I got this, this made this one look, I don't know, weird. And all of a sudden the wings look too long to me. It doesn't really matter what the alt modes look like. I'm going to display them in robot mode. <clears throat> um, oh, this is also kind of dumb. The canopy does not open enough to put this guy in there when it's complete, the transformation is complete. You actually have to unplug that, move that out of the way so you can open it to get our little folded up buddy inside the cockpit. Um, okay, so I think I've talked about everything I meant to talk about. If I would write notes down, keep track of the stuff, then I would know. Um, maybe he can't have his arms out. Because now the canopy doesn't want to peg in. There are more design issues, um, design flaws maybe you might even say, or maybe they're execution flaws, with the Toy World Brainwave. I'm, gl I'm very, very glad that I did not pay full price for it. It is not worth $100. I'm happy with it for 50 bucks. I might even have been happy with it for $70, but I'm glad I waited and got it for cheaper than that. Oh, okay, he actually has to sit. You can't just put his legs in straight. But despite its lesser, I don't know, it's just it's not quite as good, objectively speaking, as as the, uh, the fans project one. The engineering's not quite as polished. The, you know, like I keep showing here, the things are just not quite clicking into place where they are supposed to go. There we go. Apparently you have to do it like that. I like the Toy World one better. I just like the design aesthetic a little bit more of it. I like how he looks in robot mode a lot more than jet mode. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to sell this one. I think I don't need both versions. This is a great figure. I, it's slightly better done. It's slightly well more well made. These are not in all the way. I don't know if you probably can't see in there, but there's a tab there and a slot there. I knew I didn't have this in right. I, if you line it up just right, then it pegs in a little bit more. I, this is a solid, solid alt mode. It, everything pegs into place, except for that. This not quite so solid, not quite so polished. It feels like it's just not quite as well designed or as well executed. But I like this one better. Um, Toy World... Brainwave is my favorite of the two. I, do, I never bought, bought the Hasbro one that just came out a few months ago. It looked far inferior to, to... This was the only one I had when it came out. It did not look nearly as good as this. I didn't think I could possibly be pleased with it comparing it to this one. Um, so, I don't know. I've, I think I've lost my train of thought a little bit. But I hope that this lets somebody decide which one they want. If if you are trying to decide between the both, I'm not. I'm trying to spend less money than I used to, so I probably won't keep both of them, which is what I would have done a year or two ago. 
guess I only need one. I don't need two versions of the same thing. And even though, seriously, this one's not as good. I like this one more. Um, I'll have to figure out how to transform it back to robot mode when I'm done here. But uh, Brainstorm, Brainwave, Smart Robin. Um, there you have it. Thanks for watching.